Welcome to the Nutrition Pearl, Nutrition Support of Children with Chronic Liver Disease, Part 2, presented by the Council for Pediatric Nutrition Professionals. How should you implement nutrition plans for children with chronic liver disease? Formulas with added MCT are often used in pediatrics. You can also add MCT to the diet in the form of MCT oil. In older children, dietary sources like coconut or palm oil and dairy products can also be added. You will want to watch for steatorrhea, which could mean excessive MCT supplementation. Fat-soluble vitamin deficiencies should be corrected. Start with a water-soluble ADEC multivitamin formulation. This formulation is transported directly into portal circulation without the need for bile salts. Additional individual vitamin preparations should be added to meet requirements or correct deficiencies. Supplementation with all fat-soluble vitamins together may improve absorption. Below are recommendations for supplementation. How should you approach feeding children with end-stage liver disease? It is well known that better pre-transplant nutrition status is associated with better post-transplant outcomes. Therefore, nutrition support should be aggressive and early. You will want to monitor nutrition status, growth, and eating habits every two weeks to three months. Monitoring of these should depend on severity of disease and malnutrition. This is a figure from the NASPEGIN and ESPEGIN joint position paper on nutrition support of children with chronic liver diseases. It provides a nice schematic for where to start with nutrition and when to increase nutrition support. The questions you will want to ask yourself before advancing to the next step in nutrition support are, is the patient unable to tolerate goal nutrition or feeds for two to four weeks, and or is there a suboptimal trend in anthropometrics for two to four weeks? If you answer yes to those questions, then you should try increasing feeding frequency with smaller, more frequent feeds. You should also try increasing calories. In breastfed infants, you would want to either fortify breast milk or supplement with an MCT formula. In formula-fed infants, you would want to switch to an MCT formula and consider concentrating the formula. In children, you would want to discuss offering larger portions, ways to boost calories, and consider adding an oral nutrition supplement. If after trying those things you can still answer yes to those questions, then you should consider enteral nutrition, either via a nasogastric or nasojejunal tube. If enteral calories are tolerated, consider increasing calories beyond 130% of requirements for age, as many children do require greater than this. If all of that fails, consider parental nutrition.